Welcome to the frequency that's all about turning you into a greater version of you. Welcome to the podcast that's offering you greater. You are now tuned in to the Greater Resistance Podcast with me, the Manifest Mentor, Brian Hippolyte. At 24 hours, how many moments are you really having? How many moments are you experiencing joy? How many at 24 hours, how many moments are you the expression of joy? Let's say that. Look over your day. Look over how you experience it. And be, be aware from this moment forward. Be aware how many moments of a of the 24 hours in the day are you the expression of joy. A few months ago, um, when my oldest turned seven, one of her birthday wishes was that she would see her father smile more and I I turned around that night and, and, and made a decree I went on Twitter and was like yo I'm, I'm, I'm making a decree you know it gotta be real if it starts on Twitter and I'm going to be a greater expression of joy for my child to see cause it don't matter what I'm telling everybody else child if my own child is saying for my birthday when I'm blowing when she's blowing out her candles one of the things that she wished for is to see the expression of joy more in her father alright I gotta do something about that happiness is essential I can look over now and I think last time I asked her she's 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 let it be known that she definitely sees much more joy she sees happiness she doesn't ask me if I'm happy the way that she used to. And I ain't, didn't really understand it, I guess, in the, in the moment when she would just randomly say, Daddy, are you happy? And it was obviously because of the expression on my face. And I, I was, yeah, I'm happy. I'm cool. I'm First of all, I'm always happy if I'm with you. Second of all, yeah, I'm happy. Okay. But the reason why she's asking is because she didn't see the evidence of it. So I'm asking you, as somebody who was a reformed, happy person, In 24 hours, how many moments are you the expression of joy, the expression of happiness? If you spend so much time in the pursuit of happiness, and if you know that joy abounds abundantly from within you, but your life is not the expression of these things, but you're pursuing happiness, all the things on the outside that can make you happy. There's joy pouring out from within you. Like a overflowing well or a spring. But there aren't a mass, there isn't a massive amount of expression of joy in your life, then you're mismanaging your life. You're a bad manager of your life. Because you should have joy flowing through it. Happiness complimenting it all around. Happiness is essential. And joy is vital for well being and a successful life. Deacon Clark, you got your hand up. So when we mismanage the enemy, it feels like the enemy. The enemy, when you mismanage the enemy. Yes, when you mismanage the enemy, the enemy where your source lies, tapping within. And when you have a mismanage of the enemy, it feels like the enemy. That's exactly what it is. That's, you got bars this morning. Okay. Okay. So if you're going through life in pursuit of happiness and not living happily, you are mismanaging your life. And if you aren't managing anything on purpose, you can only be managing it by accident. Anytime that you're managing by accident, calamity is normal. Potential calamity is always present. And anytime potential calamity is normal, is present. Anxiety is normal. Anxiety is present. Stress is normal. Stress is present. I've seen somebody be completely unprepared for something that they had to do, and they were losing their shit. And I've seen someone with the same exact task that had planning and preparation and um, ahead of them, 
and they were just cool, calm, and collective and executed flawlessly. They managed themselves. Not only were they managing themselves in the moment, but they managed themselves prior to that moment to be prepared for that moment. So they managed their time. They managed uh, their intention. They managed the things that they executed just so that they can properly manage themselves in the moment. So are you managing your life on purpose or by accident? When you are prepared, there isn't stress. Your job isn't stressful. It's your lack of preparation for it that makes it stressful. It's a lack of understanding, a lack of willingness, or complete lack of alignment. But these things aren't stressful. They just aren't being managed appropriately. Again, if you aren't managing on purpose, you are managing by accident. So ask yourself. You don't got to say it out loud, but ask yourself, am I managing my life appropriately? Am I managing on purpose or by accident? The nature of the job does not make it stressful. It's a lack of preparation and understanding that makes it difficult. So if you are a manager, what are you managing? I know that you are mind, body, soul, vibration of those four things What are you managing? What do you spend your time managing? Are there any of those four things that you do not spend your time, effort, energy, and intention managing? Because if there is, there is a component of your life that is not going to bring you the harvest that it has the potential to bring you because it's not being properly managed. In order to have the harvest that is desired, you have to manage the crop correctly. You have to give it what it needs. Like Deacon Clark said, things can grow in the wrong place. But you won't have the harvest that's desired. So are you growing in the wrong place? Is that the reason why there's lack? Is that the reason why you're unprepared? Is that the reason why you don't have the overstandings working in your life? Managing mind, body, soul, and vibration. You've been taught and trained to manage your emotions, but not manage your vibration. And that's why your life has experienced many of the hardships that it has been managed See, even if you're a good manager of your mind but you're not managing your vibration you are losing at the game of life you hear me like if you're not aware and attentive and in control of your vibration but even if you got your mind all together which many people don't if you're not managing your vibration you're losing You're lacking power, you're lacking ability. Because your mind is just the impressions that you that 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 your intellect has gathered. Your mind is just your logic, your thoughts, your learned behavior, the things that you believe is impressions of things that have come through your experience. So manage your impressions by all means. By all means, manage your impressions and use them so that they can be an asset to you, not a detriment to you. But understand that if you are mind, body, soul, and vibration, just managing your mind or even just catering to your body, but not playing playing the proper amount of attention and management to your soul and to your vibration will always mean that you will be lacking in all the places that matter. Being mindful of your body, catering to your body, catering to the impressions of your body, which is, like Sagru said, it's just a heap of things that you've eaten. It's all your body is. It's just a, uh, the impressions made from things that you've eaten. And bullshit could get you to the top. It'll, it'll never let you stay there. So there's a lot of things that you may do to cater to your body. And it might feel good. It might make you feel good. It might make you look good. 
But listen, it's never going to stay. It's never going to keep you to whatever place it takes you to because it's not the truth of your existence. So bullshit could get you to the top but it never let you stay there. I'm going to tell you a story about that. Not right now, but I'm going to tell you a story a little bit later about bullshit. But internal management is required. So if to, to let today be the day for somebody, for one of you, at least one of you, today should be the day that you decide to start internal management at a whole nother level. I'm talking about if you if you if you already been on it, then let's move, let's let's get a promotion. Let's go to upper management. Let me speak to the manager. I want to talk to the person who is in charge, the person who is capable of creating the reality and the experience that I require and desire. Let me speak to the manager. You've been catering to your mind. Now it's time. Speak to the manager. You've been catering to your body. It's a great opportunity to speak to the manager. What are your soul and what are your vibrations talking about? Manage those things appropriately and correctly. And watch what happens. What up? Welcome back to the Greater Resistance Podcast. Of course, I'm your host, Brian Hippolyte, the Manifest Mentor. And today I'm here with Manifest University and we have been talking about internal management. The things that we are doing actively to create the desired results and the desired realities in our lives. And if you want to join in our conversation and join our tribe and our family, you are more than welcome to go to BrianHippolite.com or DoYouMU.com to be a part of this amazing, mighty Manifest University. So let's jump right back in it. What is it that we do to get us back into our proper place? place of power, place of control, what is it that we do to bring us back whenever we have noticed that we've moved out of alignment, that's absolutely important to identify these things, they should be your go-tos, I mean my my kids are definitely a go-to for me, first and foremost to get me back into a place that I don't, you know, get me me back from a place that I don't want to be in. Regardless of how I, how I got there, what it, what what you know what the cause of it is, um, the joy that I experience when I'm just you know with my kids definitely puts me back into that high place. It definitely takes away whatever you know whatever was in my mind or whatever had got a hold of me at that moment or whatever I had a hold of at that moment. Uh, so I identify with that. Um, you know, like she was saying, like no what's going to work for you and then milk it I always know I can go and get on some music and in my creative space I'm going to you know I'm going I'm to I'm fall in love with with music all over again every time you know um, and, and no matter what's going on around me or whatever was taking place that's going to set me back up on high and I'll go and I'll milk that. I'll milk, milk it with my, you know, with 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 my children. Spend time with my with, with, with my children, or even just holding them. Let me, you know, in the mornings when I wake up and I don't feel the way I want to, the way that I want to feel, the first thing I'm gonna do is go lay down with my children, and go hold my children. They don't even gotta be awake. They don't even they don't even have to play an active part. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go in their room and hold them. And it's going to make, you know, make me feel better. I'll milk it every single time because I already know that that is something that has power and that gives me power. So since that's what we're talking about, like, we just got to be aware of what gives us power. What brings us back to that, to that place, that high spirit, so that we can manage ourselves correctly. Anybody else got anything that they want to share, anything that they want to bring in? Great day, Flower. How you doing? Oh, man, I feel amazing. Um, I was up late. I was up late, and I seen uh, Deacon Clark, the doctor at the heart, post something, post a Facebook video. She was out sweating. And in 
just, I don't know, it just, it just like lit a flame up under my ass. And, you know, I got an 11 11 goal and I've challenged myself. So this morning I said, fuck them children. Woke up at 6 30 and um, went and got my, my mile in. takes you back into alignment, whatever uh, uplifts your your vibration to, and and takes you back to that place that you want to be. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's the place where, it's the point where my mind, my spirit connects to the physical, and I'm like, boom, go. You know what I mean? Because yeah. sometimes your mind will say, you know what I mean, let me do this, let me get this done, or I want to do this, but then you don't physically, or you know what I mean, you don't in reality do it. Right. You don't move, but when my mind and my spirit connect to my reality and my physical, that's when I feel most empowered. Mm-hmm. And that, and 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 that's the best time uh, to manifest the things that you want and get get the manifest the you know, things you want when there's no resistance to your mm-hmm. to your to your. Um, Experience. Yeah, it's no, it's really no thinking. Yeah, it's really just activation. Yeah, you know, and that's like boom. Like why was it? Why why did I put this off? Yeah, absolutely. Because I was thinking, I was overthinking. Be who you want. Feel how you want. Manifest what you want. And um. And definitely not be a slave or not be captive by your mind or by the impressions of your mind, by the by your feelings and your you know your emotions and no different things. Jelani, great day, bro. How you doing? You good, my guy? I'm feeling great today, man. Self awareness is one of the big keys to staying in your voice in your vortex. But that's one of the big ones because you go in and out of the vortex every day. All day, every day. But you're just so caught up in your day that you don't realize it. And that's why people start to snowball before they can even catch themselves. And then the whole day just going to shit. Right. So self-awareness is, is, is a big one when it comes to staying in the vortex or staying in alignment or staying in um, source energy. <clears throat> From me. Absolutely. That's a big part of it. That's a really big part of it. Being aware. Is you know lately I stopped saying be careful when I talk to the kids because Whitney doesn't say be careful she always tells them to be mindful and, and then when they ask well what does that mean be aware of what you're doing <laughs> you know what I mean in, in, in every moment because that is what is going to lead you to the next moment that you desire you're going to get caught slipping if you're not aware, you know, so, uh, being uh, aware of self and, and self-management goes hand in hand the same way that self-management and emotional intelligence goes hand in hand. We'll be right back with more elevated conversations right here on the Greater Resistance Podcast. You are now tuned in to the Greater Resistance Podcast with me, the Manifest Mentor, Brian Hippolyte. 